In 2011, about half of the nation's public schools failed to make adequate yearly progress, also known as AYP. Under current law, AYP is used to gauge student achievement, with a 100% proficiency requirement looming in 2014, nearly all schools will be labeled as failing in just a couple years. This shocking statistic illustrates the urgent need to vastly improve our nation's education system. We can start by developing a better, more meaningful system to measure whether our students are learning. And that system should not come from the federal level. It should be developed at the state level. I recently met with a superintendent from my congressional district who told me about the challenges his schools face under the current AYP system. Because the current system does not take into account an individual school's student population and the challenges that school faces, achieving AYP is very difficult, he said. National standards developed by lawmakers hundreds of miles away from this one school district are imposed across the board at schools and in districts that are remarkably different. Like many educators, this superintendent believes an accountability system developed at the state level would be better for parents, schools, and most importantly, the students. Such a system would provide more meaningful data about student and school performance. It would help states and districts target reforms where they are needed most and where they are most effective. My colleagues and I recently released draft legislation we call the Student Success Act. This proposal calls on each state to develop and implement its own accountability system. This way, states can draft accountability systems that take into account the differences, challenges, and opportunities facing local schools. Not only will this proposal allow my home state of Pennsylvania to develop a new accountability system, but it will also give school districts the flexibility to dedicate additional federal funds to specific student populations. The Student Success Act will usher in welcome changes for the students in my district, across the great state of Pennsylvania and nationwide. I look forward to continuing to work with my colleagues on the Education and Workforce Committee to advance this important bill.